look, my hands are sweaty. My hands are sweaty. What if you see start dripping out of my hand like bloop bloop? And I didn't wash my hair for three days. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna start over, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, one, two. Hallo, mein Name ist Cosima Rössler, ich komme aus Deutschland und ich bin ein Austauschschüler in Texas. Uh, olá, meu nome é Bárbara, eu sou intercambista nos Estados Unidos e eu moro em Austin, Texas. Bonjour, je m'appelle Alice, je suis une ex-étudiante euh, d'échange de France. <laughs> Hi, ich heiße Matthias, ich bin von Norge, uh, ich bin ein Utwechslungsstudent. Tada! Cześć, nazywam się Ula, jestem z Polski, jestem na wymianie międzynarodowej tutaj. Bonjour, je m'appelle Prune, je suis étudiante d'échange française. Hallo, mein Name ist Moritz Preußen, ich bin ein Austauschschüler von Deutschland. So, die hi. Hallo, mein Name ist Johanna, ich bin von Deutschland und ich bin ein Austauschschüler. Hi, mein Name ist Adele, ich bin von Deutschland und ich bin ein Austauschschüler. Hi, mein Name ist Amerika und ich denke, es ist eine tolle Möglichkeit, um like better future for me so they were like you gotta try <laughs> and i was like okay <laughs> i wanted to learn something more i wanted to explore the world you know the lifestyle in usa the godson of my mom did it and he told us that this experience was one of the best experience in his life um no i thought it's kind of cool to like look at everything from the other perspective so i think that that's one like of the major reasons and discover a new country and and a new experience yeah well, I want to speak better English to get new friends understanding the people here because I always wanted to go to America you grow up so much to live uh, an experience between high school and college so yeah I just wanted to live like one year Everywhere, I'd, anywhere, I don't know. Um, see the culture, meet new people, and improve my English. Uh. Well, like I have to do it once in my life, so yeah. Just experience the, the life. Just leave something that I will never forget. The biggest difference, that's hard to tell because, um, I mean, it's a complete other lifestyle. I think like everything is different. I think America is much, 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 much bigger. Everything is bigger. The food, the fast food, all the, <laughs> all the bad food. The weather, yeah. But, but I love the weather here because it's really hot, so it's great. I mean, not maybe in summer, but anyway, like, yeah, I really like the weather. The relationship between the people. people who are like completely different here in, in, in my country. People are different. Like hamburger on every corner or a pizza every corner. So. Like the high school, like the system, how it works. Like different schedule, different way to study, different like subjects. First time I went to a grocery store and everybody smiled at me. And for, for you it's like completely, you know, it's normal. And like in Poland when somebody smiles at you and is a stranger, you better like run away or call the police because it's not normal. You're, you know, you're, it's a relationship between stranger and stranger. So yeah. In here you can drive car when you're 16 and in Europe you have to be 18. Uh, the weather is different. And food. God, food. You have the possibility to play so much sport. Different, the food, everything. Here you can drive with 16, in Brazil it's 18. Just the school in general, how everything, how everything works is Different. The food is different. It's the food. It's really different. I like the fact that you can choose your classes. The relationship between the teachers and the students. We have a uniform back there, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, can you repeat the question? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> 
I think the ability to speak English. Yeah, that's a good point. I think it gave me first the English. Now I can speak English way better than I used to. English. Now I can speak English. Uh, the possibility to speak English, <laughs> definitely. And English, English, and maybe a lot of different perspectives. You can just look through the different eyes and the same things. So that was that's really valuable. Experience. I mean, the experience. It's just an experience what lets you grow up. Confidence and just like being more self. Sure. I think it gave me also confidence. Probably maturity. Like the opportunity to meet friends and yeah, like amazing people. I want a lot of friends here. A lot of friends, Cosima. I'm really grateful for my host family because they gave me something that I even ever were thinking about. Like I might study in America. I learned so many things learning new things. I got a really nice jacket from soccer. I never had this kind of jacket. I think that's that's really something. Broken arm, so which I didn't get before. US history, I guess. Whatever. Um, actually, I chose Canada. <laughs> I, I wanted to see the U.S. for myself uh, and see it with my own eyes. It's a country we are talking about since we are young. So I just wanted to see how is it to be an American teenager. The U.S. Is always, was, was always a big dream of mine. Why here? To live the American dream. <laughs> Oh yeah, I love Texas. Texas is awesome. Texas is huge. Texas is cool. Texas has a lot of faces and uh, I like it a lot. Yes, I love Texas. I really like Texas. I like Texas so far. <laughs> I do. I like Texas. Yeah, I do like Texas. I do. <laughs> I do like Texas. I really like Texas. I do like Texas. Yeah, it's pretty great. I do. I, I, I like it. Well, I do. I really like Texas. I love Austin City. Yeah, the landscapes are beautiful. Yeah, I really like it. It's just, it's so warm. It's nice because it's warm. <laughs> because it's hot. And basically for that, because the weather, of course. So I, I think I like it. It's just, it's a bit too hot. It's kind of hot, but it's cool. It's pretty warm. Sometimes it gets really hot. And I have my first sunburn in January, but it's cool. People are so nice. I mean, it's the, yeah, people are nice. I, I like the people in Texas. They're nice. It's spread. You need drive and you don't have a car. And everything is spread out and you need a car for everything and to be independent. And my house family is really nice. So it's not especially the place, but more the people that are around me. That is important to me. I couldn't got gotten to a better place, so... No, I don't have any songs. Good evening, Mac Miller. <laughs> he duck and cover. It's seven years, and it just reminds me on a nice sunny evening with friends. And It should be something like depressive and ecstatic in the same time and have like a happy ending with like you're waking up. I couldn't find any, so I'm just going to skip that. We Can't Stop by Miley Cyrus. I'm probably going to go with that because we can't. We can't stop being exchange students. <laughs> okay, there is a French song um, who talks about uh, this guy who leaves his country, France, to go uh, to America. So I can start to sing. It's like... L'Amérique, l'Amérique, je veux la voir et je l'aurai. Okay. That some 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 big experience like this year can fit in one song. That's almost impossible. Not really. It's like at the beginning, everybody is coming to see you, to talk with you because you are a foreigner. So and the most people are really interested in you because you're a foreigner and they want ask you questions. So that makes it a lot easier to get adjusted. Really hard. 
like first week i'm so nervous like oh i think it's not that hard how to like be including in a group that is already made like new person like eh no you don't belong you don't belong here the first weeks is really hard because you're really shy you're afraid to speak you like at the beginning of the year it was hard because i was just scared and i was not able to speak at all no it's not well at the beginning of the year yeah well like when you can't speak english it's not really hard because people are really nice no i don't think so i mean as soon as you're adjusted to the life situation here in texas and you get a little bit more comfortable with speaking english it's pretty easy it's uh, not anymore when i came here it was hard but it's like not anymore people try to speak to you and you're like what what and when you try to speak to them they are like what what after a while i met great people and i'm so thankful for having them because this is what makes my year the best like. but sometimes it was hard to be ourselves and so meet people that are like us <laughs> it's good to be yourself and that people don't judge you if you are yourself so like the question do you miss your family is the second just after how is it going on here? Like, do you like it here? That I've heard it like one million times. I really miss my family. <laughs> so much. There are times where I miss my family when I'm uh, on days like Christmas, on birthdays and special events. Uh, yes, little bit. Of course I do miss my family. I mean, let's see your family. Yeah, I miss my mom, I miss my friends, I miss my dad, my grandparents. Yeah, sometimes. I miss my family so much, like, so much. Of course I do, who doesn't, but yeah. No, I'm a hurtless person. I miss them a bit, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. They do matter, but still. <laughs> of course I miss them, but because I have my friends and I have an amazing house family and stuff like that, I mean, I miss them, but not that much. Not really, kind of, but not that I would like to go home or stuff. Uh, usually there's so much going on that I don't have as much time to think about missing someone. I would totally say awesome. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> uh, awesome. Awesome. Awesome! <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. But I want to be original. I'm going to say learning or like understanding, or developing, something like that. Dope. <laughs> wow. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Rarely. And it's the word squirrel. I can't, I hate this word. I, I can't, I cannot pronounce it. Squirrel. Water. 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 Com comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Literally, literally, literally. Okay, I'm not gonna say that. Literally, literally, literally. <laughs> Mountain. Ma mountain, mountain. Maybe something that includes like R thingy, like rural or whatever. <laughs> uh, the the one word from Mary Poppins, the super fragilistic expialidosis. It's super califragilistic expialidosis. Yeah, that one, that word, that word. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Denise sees the fleas, Denise sees the fleas, at least Denise could sneeze and feed the freeze and, and feed and freeze the fleas. I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, shines, she sits. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, where is the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Then he sees the fleas, then he sees the fleas. What's the difference between these two? 
Can you can a uh, can as a canner can can a can? Then I seize the fleas. Then I seize the fleas. At least Denise could knee and feed the fleas at fleas. I saw Susie sitting in the shoe shine shop, where she sits, she shines, and where she shines, she sits. Something in a 30-acre thermal ticket of thorns and thistle thumped and thundered, threatening the 3D thoughts of Matthew the thug, although theatrically. It was only 13,000 thistles (laughs) and thorns through the underneath of um, tie that he 30 year old do you thought of that morning <laughs> ready uh, okay something in a 30 acre thermal thickets of thorns and thrusters theft and hundred thrilling the three D thoughts of Matthew the thick Theoretically, it was only the 13,000 thrissless and thorns through the underneath of his thigh that the 30 year old took out of that morning. Ta ta! Nailed it. Test! Hada! Bra! Okay, bye. French, oh, au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen oder tschüss. Okay, the for watching ya. Bye, au revoir. Oh, tschüss. <laughs> bye. Ciao. Oh, oh uh, auf Wiedersehen. <laughs> so, what do you? And au revoir.